This came straight out of one of your workbooks. This is evaluating limits of a piecewise defined function. And here we have the function f of x is a piecewise function x plus 3 if x is less than 0 and x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 0. And what the book is asking us to do is to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. This is a one-sided limit, so they're saying as x approaches 0 from values less than 0, from negative numbers. There's a couple ways to do this. What I hope to do is do this graphically, do this numerically, and then use the calculator to do a little calculus. So let's see if we can do that quickly. So let's start by here inserting a graph. Um, what I'm hoping you're going to really pick up right here is how do you put a piecewise function into your task calculator. And here it is. It's pretty easy. I'm right there. Yes, so where the cursor is, that's where I, the button I pressed was right here. This is what we want. It looks like two <laughs> columns of two. It's not. So double click on that. If you remember, we had x plus 3 and x minus 3, so we only had two pieces to our function. So we'll put in two. Hit OK. OK? Then just drop it in. x plus 3. You can go to here next if you want. Or if x is less than 0. And the function is also x minus 3 if x and here's, if you want to use the greater than or equal to sign, the control button and then hit this. And then here's greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to 0. And if I hit enter here, there's a picture of our function. And our, the question, if you remember, that's being asked of us is what happens here? What happens here? Okay, so here we are. I just came back to this, just dropped a couple points in here, but in that this is the graphical approach. Then what I did was uh, on the calculator, I went to points, and you can do on your drop down menu, put points on, and that's what I did here. I took points on, and I just dropped points onto the, onto the graph. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm moving from values less than zero, x values less than zero, moving towards values of zero, as close to zero as possible. And hopefully you can see as I go, as I get closer and closer, here I am at a height of about one, about one and a half, just over two, two and a half, over two and a half, and almost perfectly three. And if you look right here, this x value is as close to zero, is closer to zero than any of the other ones, but still less than zero. So here's another way that we could do this. If we go here, we go to calculator. I'm gonna do something very, very similar. I'm gonna drop our equation in here. Same thing I did here, this, choose this. If you remember, our function has two pieces, so here's two for our two pieces, and we're going to put in x plus 3, x minus 3, doesn't matter what order you do this in, as long as you get them in the right places, for x is less than 0 here, right, and for here, x is, and here that was again, greater than or equal to zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cursor here, this right cursor, and you can see that the cursor is all the way up across here. Now we can store this by hitting control store. We've got to go ahead and call this f of x again. Hit enter and it says done. Now we can test this numerically. That is to say we can make a table out of this in a weird way. Remember we're going to start from values less than zero moving towards value x values of zero or near zero. So I'll take f of negative 0.1. We have a height value of 2.9. Let's try that again. But this time, let's get a little bit closer. So negative, not 0.1, but 0 0.01. Hopefully, we can agree that we're getting closer to 0. Now we have a height of 2.99. Seems like we're approaching a height of 3. Let's try one more f of negative 0 0.001, hit enter, 2.99 seems to me we're getting closer and close to a height value of exactly 3. Last way that I would like to test this is actually use a little calculus with your calculator. Go to your pull down menu, go to the, cal go to the calculus pull down, pull limit, and we're going to take the limit as x 
approaches zero, remember, from values less than zero of our function f of x. Hit enter. Voila. So we've proven this three ways. One, we looked at this graphically. We looked at this graphically. Let's see if we can find that. We looked at it graphically. We plotted some points here and showed, hey, the closer we get to zero from values less than zero, the closer we get to a height of three. From there, we looked at this numerically, which looked like this. We saved our function f of x. We put in values, remembering what side we were approaching from and getting to values closer and closer to that c value that we wanted. Again, we proved that the limit seems to be approaching three. Lastly, we used our calculator and we actually took the one-sided limit as x approaches zero from values less than zero of f of x. Hope that was helpful.